So your side, my side. We're good. There you go, solid. Damn Jeeps. Uh. He says it's a Jeep. It. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, I hit my knee. <laughs> so for all of you who get mad at me for calling this a Jeep, say it's not a Jeep, explain this. Other than the fact that I put it there also, those are Jeep leaf springs. This thing has Ford axles, Jeep suspension, Chevy. Ford Jeep Chevy. So whatever I call it is correct, right? Sure, we'll okay. go with that. So I should explain what we're doing. We are heading out into the Badlands here and uh, there's a Toyota Tacoma. They were out four wheeling and got kind of crossed up in the dark and ended up in a ravine is what I'm told. So we're heading out here trying to find them. They're on foot trying to get back to it. This happened last night, they had to hike out. So now they're hiking back in and we're gonna go see if we can find it and then see if we can get it out of here. Update, we've been driving for a while and um, not 100% sure where we're going, but they said go straight back, so we're going straight back. Eventually, we should see the other truck that they drove here this morning parked off to the side, and they're hiking from there. Uh, my window is clouded up, but if we do this, you guys can see. There we go. Yeah. That's all that matters, Casey. Yeah, and then my side is... Yeah. Wet and wild. As long as you guys can see, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. What you doing? Relieving air pressure for traction purposes. Beadlocks coming handy. We're just totally blowing the beads off oh, the yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, I saw you going high side. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I wanted idea. to see if it would get traction. I, I don't think so. Generally, staying in the ruts that are on the low side is your better bet when you're on an angled road, but I tried for the high. Didn't, didn't work out. Turned around and then it just ended up just wanting to go down. And I was really oh, so you were trying to go down the hill down the road here. You're trying to turn around and end it up I was, down the road. I was trying to go up, but then it Got started it. to slide. And I was worried about rolling just because of the snowpack. And I was like, well, I looked on Onyx and it told me that I can get out the other side. But I, and I was like, okay, well, I can get down this hill and it's flat. And I went down and it's, there's no, it's not, a, it's not, it's flat. not flat. It's, not <laughs> it's very much not flat. Yeah, no not road a road at all. Okay, so we already drove down a pretty good hill, but now is where it gets real steep, so we're walking it. Okay, I can see why you had trouble here. Yeah. That's not hard yeah. to see that. Well, under this top layer of snow yeah, it's, is ice. It's slippery. So we got, it, it snowed and then it started to melt and froze. So like that is ice. And then it snowed more on top. So it looks yeah. like you have something you can work with, but you don't. Yeah, and once you start, oh man. Oh. <laughs> this is like. Yeah, oh, I almost powder. just, I almost just impaled myself. No, that'd been fun. <laughs> Normally powder gives you traction, but this is. This is not that. Yeah, look at right here where it's... Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. I like half tempted to go down backwards and lower myself down with the winch. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Just leapfrog from trees and lower myself. Yeah. So this is like, if you started going on this, you're not gonna Oh go man, on. no way. Holy shit, Batman. <laughs> oh yeah. When you said you were in a canyon, you weren't kidding. Yeah. You did good. I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, it's right down there to the left, huh? Um, there is enough trees to bounce and uh, off of it. And we got that brand new battery. Yep. I'm glad we put that in there. So are you stuck, stuck, or you're sitting right now and can't move at all? No, I'm, I mean, I can't. Or are you mobile? I can't you just really can't move. get out. I can't move out from there. Okay. But I'm not like swamped down, you know, like I can move forward. Okay. There's just that rock in the middle of the Yeah, there's just a rock that's kind of like right in front of the rear gate. Man, 
Man, I'm like... This would have been a good job for the track truck. No. No? Slide. The track's like skis on ice. Or on a ski slope. Yeah. <laughs> tracks, that's thing. Tracks on ice, scary as hell. Tires are so much better on ice. Yeah. Because those tracks, that big flat pad, they just ski. Yep. This would be terrifying in the back front. And what? I don't want to come down this forward because then I'd end up in that and trying to turn around. Yeah. Backwards, I kind of don't want to come out without being hooked on the winch line. How much extension you got? Two, three hundred feet of extension on top of the winch line. I also got a, I have a kinetic rope and then just a normal ARB. It better be a Yankum or I'm leaving you here. <laughs> uh, no. No! Get <laughs> walking. Yeah. Um, well, let's go up and uh, come down this backwards. All righty. Oh, man, look at that. The yeah. camera probably makes us look like nothing. Yeah, like... But that's a ski slope. Like that. Yeah, that, that is... I'm surprised you made it down there in one piece. Yeah. yeah. That is... Yeah, it's impressive. That's some good driving. Oh, God. That kind of shows it. Yeah. Yeah. But... Like... Okay, let's go see what happens. Yeah, right? No chance. Really? So, uh, yeah, we're not doing this today. 100% um, not worth it. One, you see that's just me getting out here. I don't want to tear all this ground up if we dig down into the ground like this. I'm not out here to tear stuff up. Uh, two, even getting my rig up out of there on its own is going to be a massive fight winching the whole way. They're a couple hundred yards down. Right. And then it'd be doing it with them hooked to the back. And it's also the risk of they're sliding off the side. Cause there's that one section down there that's 
steep and leaned over with the drop off into the yeah. creek. And if they're slight, even if it's on the rope and slides off to the side, I don't want to wreck their vehicle either. So right. it's supposed to warm up over the next uh, few days. And then we actually get some rain, which should wash a lot of this away. And then we'll see if it's better to get back out here and try again. But um, in this icy snow stuff, it's not, not worth the risk. So they're walking back down to get some supplies and stuff out of the truck that they need. And then we're gonna give them a ride back out of here and we all live to try another day. Yep. Hopefully uh, with a better result for the next go around. Yeah. Let's hope. There's a couple of videos now where I've just said no, I'm not done. No, it, I think, I, I think sometimes a, that's the thing to do. Yeah, I think it's a wise call for everybody involved. As much yep. as it, as much as it sucks to not have your own vehicle, I mean, it's better than having, you know, a vehicle that's now damaged and stuck at the bottom of the hill. Or two of them. Yeah, or two of them, like yeah. you said. And then we're walking out of here. Yeah. You think uh, maybe this would be a good situation? You could have the little wrecker on standby at the top of the hill too. I don't know if I'd want to take that little wrecker. I'm not saying take it down here, but even yeah. I don't even know if I want to get it to where that is right now because we saw that steeper spot. Oh, we remember right. we still have that other half a mile that's to get right. out of here. I forgot. Like see the hill up there and up here. We still got to get yeah. up at we're we came down a fairly steep section to get to where we are and then it's this dive off into the canyon. So if it was better road to get the little wrecker right here, a whole bunch of extensions we could run off the side right there to at least be assisting up into here, then we would winch over here, but. I don't even think I want to try taking a little record down what we just came down to get here to this right. landing. I don't think it's worth it. Nope. So, like I said, it's supposed to rain and warm up this week into the 40s, maybe up yeah. to 50. It's going to wipe out a bunch of this stuff, and then it's come back and just drive out maybe. Yeah. <laughs> At least if it's where that can drive up and down this. Right. Then we're okay. Once you even wipe all the snow off, the ground is frozen hard. Look at get down to the dirt and the dirt is frozen hard so there's nothing to grip into so live to fight another day yep it's a smart move